Hey everybody, um, I want to just introduce myself and my husband. Uh, I am Christina, this is my husband TJ. Uh, we both went on to our Instagrams yesterday asking everybody to send us questions um, about what they would like to know about us and we jotted them down onto his phone and we're gonna go over them. Uh, I am from a small town uh, in Iowa. I was born and raised in Tampa, Florida. Uh, we actually met in a dining center at Iowa State University and I mistakenly thought he was somebody else and totally embarrassed myself, but here we are. <laughs> so, we've been knowing each other since 2012, but we officially got together in 2013, so we've been together about Eight years now. Yeah, known each other for nine. <laughs> I think was I you. was <laughs> the first person to say I love you. Um, if I remember correctly, I was injured at the time and she was in another state, which was Kansas City at the time. And she basically dropped everything and drove back to Iowa to basically take care of me. So that was when I first... Yeah, and you're dealing with like your death of your grandma mm -hmm. and you know, just just being there for somebody really cho like really shows you like what kind of person you are. Uh, we're both 28 and we'll be 29 this summer. Jesus, we're old. <laughs> we're getting there. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, our favorite thing to do together would be um, going to the movies. We're huge movie fanatics. Uh, we even come home and watch movies together, make our own popcorn, and we'll get into that video another time because video, we're yeah. huge, like, we go all out. <laughs> Tuesdays, AMC, yeah, $5, $5 Tuesdays. Yeah, but you had to buy the membership. Um, always stay true to yourself, mm -hmm. uh, honesty, and communication. And never go to bed angry. Yeah. I'm gonna say it again. Never go to bed angry. Faith is very important. I remember, you know, our relationship, we always had our ups and downs and things like that. And Christine will always say, you know, just keep the faith. Um, everything's gonna work out in God's timing. We went through a whole bunch of trials and tribulations with, you know, my football career and things like that. And she would just always tell me, you know, you just have to keep the faith and everything is going to work out. Yeah, he, time. yeah, he has a plan for everybody. And just because something doesn't work out or it's just not the time that is supposed to happen, just keep pushing yourself and he will lead you into the right direction. Uh, it'll be a little bit of everything. Uh, we're gonna do tr uh, try to do pranks, try on hauls, um, get ready with us. Um, um, day in the life. Vlogs. Vlogs. Life. Just just a bunch of different things. Uh, so this was a question from a lot of people. Kids are definitely not out of the question we definitely want them um we will actually make a whole youtube i'm getting chills because we you know this is something that we just both really want and are looking forward to that um but we'll make a whole video about you know the kids journey communication well communication is definitely key but yeah. love languages is definitely like you have to do that you, you have, have to, to like, learn your partner's love language yeah. It's, it's key, it's important. And like I said before, don't go to bed angry. <laughs> okay, this is my biggest pet peeve. I'm gonna be serious here because I hate it. I hate it when she grabbed my ass. I just don't like it. Excuse my language, I just hate it. <laughs> okay, well, I do that because he has a booty and I do not and it's just right there. It's like- Still though, don't grab my butt though. I just I... don't like that. It just, 
I don't it's just something about you grabbing my butt it's just like I don't like it especially okay. when you do it in public that kind of embarrasses me <laughs> I'm sorry I'll work on that but my biggest pet peeve would be that he leaves his laundry everywhere he'll leave a sweatshirt in the kitchen he'll leave his socks in the hallway he'll leave his pants I mean in the bedroom floor you'll even find him like in a guest room I'm like what is going on like why are we just destroying our house with all your clothes I am a sock sock shoe shoe person obviously I am too I mean that's a no-brainer like it's just like would you guys lotion your feet and then lotion your face or would you lotion your face first then your feet uh, or like a good question is like okay what about the toilet roll like do you put oh. it over or under I'm totally an over person he's an under person under person I yeah. like to grab it like this instead of grabbing it like this you yeah. guys no, let us a, know it's no it's supposed to be over you guys let us know <laughs> my dream vacation spot would probably be Bora Bora what about you babe yeah I mean we definitely did my dream vacation for a honeymoon we went to Santorini Greece Santorini, Greece, and it was literally breathtaking. It was so beautiful. Blue skies, everything was white and blue. Mm -hmm. And yeah, dream spot. Obviously, you know, I'm still in my football career and things like that, but um, I'm always trying to get better at other things because I know it's always life after football. So um, I'm currently, you know, in the real estate um, industry, I flip houses and things like that. So I would say life after football, I will continue my real estate journey. Yeah. Uh, for me, uh, I'm a spray tan technician in the Dallas, Texas area. And I will eventually have a studio or a salon of some sort, but I will still be mobile. I, you know, I love traveling here and there to go to places and it's more comfortable for a lot of my clients. Um, but yeah, hopefully I have a salon. Really, I expected my wife to cook all the time. Now she's just like slowly dying on me now. And it's, yeah. It's not that I don't mind cooking. It's, I don't like the cleanup part. Oh, yeah. Like I like having a very clean house. I'm weird about it. He always gets on my, you know, on my butt about, you don't have to clean when somebody comes over. You don't have to make sure everything's spotless all the time. But to me, like that's just the way that I was raised. I, you know, was raised on doing chores all the time and keeping a clean house. Not that, you know, everything's perfect all the time, but I do like having a nice, mm -hmm. needy area. Um, I used to be a very hyper, like, energetic yes, person. Off the wall. It's just like, as soon as you meet, like, <laughs> oh, hey, oh my God. It's just like, I too probably much still like, kind of like that with my friends, just chill. but I definitely have chilled out. I have definitely been the person to, like, now observe people. Um, and, mm -hmm. you know. Mine would probably be, um, she's changed me for the better pretty much, like my patience. Even though I still need to work on my patience, but it has gotten a lot better. So for me, I just love Christina because she just has a, have the biggest heart. She always put other people first, including myself. She always put me first and always want to know if I'm okay, things like that. So I just, that's what I just love about her. Well, I guess it's like kind of a quick or a, a tricky question because it's like, is it about appearance? Is it about personality? Is it about, you know, their actions? Um, I would say that one thing that I absolutely love is, I mean, obviously like I love laughing and, you know, doing this and that, but when I'm like super serious, like, or mad, like he still finds some way to make me laugh, even though I do not want to do that. But I mean, you know, it's life and I, I do love that. Um, honestly, when I, I mean, I'm very comfortable with him, um, which is kind of hard for me with, with men. I don't know why I just feel uncomfortable sometimes, but, um, I would say like, he would literally text me in the morning saying, good morning, gorgeous. Uh, what are your plans today? Like, do you want to go get lunch? Um, and always ask me to go on lunch dates with him. 
and he would also ask me to go to the P-A-R-K. The reason why I'm spelling this out is because our dog listens into every yes. single conversation she that we're having. She would literally come over here and just mess up the whole video. Yeah, and she's currently laying on her bed, like right beside the couch, so. We can't say the word. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, what about you? When you basically came to, um, to campus that day and just took care of me and yeah i literally would make scheduled like alarms to wake him up to make sure he's taking his medicine to yes you know, and i just knew right sure. then and there like you know what i'm saying she was just she was she literally stopped what she was doing and just came and just took care of me and like i say we was kind of talking in a relationship but we really wasn't and i was just like man this girl really loved me so i just gotta put my all into it that was pretty much the last question guys uh we appreciate you guys but make sure before you go to like. subscribe and like this channel and we will be coming out with so many more um mm -hmm. episodes and i think the next one you guys will really enjoy mm -hmm. we won't um say too much but it'll You're be more like of, it. it'll be more of a vlog mm -hmm. than an actual video of sitting down and yep. chatting so once again make sure you like and make sure you subscribe subscribe to our youtube channel and like we'll be coming up with a name soon mm -hmm. and we'll let you guys know yes love you guys like and subscribe